And we're joined now by uh, Charlie Plosser, the former president of the Federal Reserve Bank of Philadelphia, who is participating in this year's Jackson Hole uh, Summit, uh, sponsored by the Kansas City Fed. And uh, Charlie, uh, welcome again to Fox Business and FoxBusiness.com. Uh, so uh, one thing that you talked a lot about when you were at the uh, Philly Fed was the need to have rules mm -hmm. uh, to help provide in investors and consumers with what, more, more confidence, uh, more certainty about uh, Fed policy? Well, m more clarity, yeah. and more clarity about how policy, how the policy strategy works. The Fed now is, obviously we hear a lot the words data dependent. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. We should be data dependent. And as the data changes, our outlook for the economy changes and our policy should change. But uh, I think the Fed could do more by saying, well, how are you data dependent? So when an event occurs, when the data change, investors in the markets at least have some idea of how the Fed might react to that. And I think they can do more of that. More of that. And that's what we call a reaction function. And uh, it would be helpful both for the Fed's communication as well as for the uh, uh, how the markets are going to react rather than guessing what the Fed's going to do. At least they have some idea. So, so give us an example of how that would work uh, and, and particularly how it might help to, to prevent the kind of volatility and uncertainty we're seeing in the, in the markets right now? Well, a lot of times uh, when, when events or volatility occurs, it's hard to know what the source of it is, but at least if, if the volatility occurs and the Fed has said, if the Fed had said something to the effect that uh, we will not move in the face of volatility or, or we'll, we will not move in the face of, um, of something else, a slow down yeah, in China. Yeah, a slow down in China or something like that. Yeah. You, can, you, you can qualitatively begin to describe what's the magnitude of a change in the economy and change in what parts of the economy that the Fed's most likely to respond to. And that would, that would give them, rather than the markets asking the Fed, well, what are you going to do? They would at least have already have some idea. So do you think that had this type of, uh, of model, uh, policy model, been in place before, all this volatility that it might have helped in this situation to mitigate. Well, some it, of it, that, again, or? partly it's it's what you think caused the volatility in the first thing. If okay. you think it was the uncertainty over the Fed whether they were going to raise rates or not raise rates, if you thought that was the source of it, this would have mitigated some of that that source of volatility. Of course, the volatility could be coming from somewhere else, of course, but uh, it would it would mitigate the Fed's contribution to the volatility. All right, so help help to at least try to reduce it. Yeah, exactly, in, in exactly. Right. You can't, we can't get rid of it. Yeah. It's always going to be there, yeah. nor right. should we. Okay. <laughs> Charlie Plosser, formerly of the Philadelphia Fed, thanks for joining us on foxbusiness.com. Thanks, Peter. Thanks.